that is available from the document. So for example, you can see here, right? When we click on uniqueness, it comes here and gives us the detail of the uniqueness of Bashni AI based on the sources. In day 155, we explored Humata.ai, a tool that lets you chat with your documents and get instant answers, summaries, and insights. But what if your AI could turn it into visual mind maps or even audio so that you could listen to it? Welcome to day 170 of the 1000 days of no code challenge. Today, we are checking Notebook LM, an AI powered research assistant by Google that lets you upload documents and not just create summaries or ask questions, but it will also generate mind maps, audio, so that you could listen to it all based on your content. Let's see how it works. To begin, go to notebooklm.google and click on try notebook LM. Of course, you have some agreements to sign. Click on this, click on OK. And then we have gain new understanding about any document, a chatbot, grounded in your sources, share your thoughts, some bits of what Notebook LM is all about. Click on create a new notebook. So here you can upload any document or you can also use Google Docs, Google Slides or any websites, YouTube link or you can also paste the text directly over here. So I'm uploading the document which is AI voice agents for Indian languages. And uh, as soon as you do that, it will give you a quick analysis of what the document contains, right? We can also generate an audio overview of this particular document. Okay, so it will take some time. So I'll just initiate that and then we can go further for the rest of the things that the tool can do. You can add your own notes here, right? Uh, based on what you have understood from this document or anything that you want to add apart from what the document has already. Okay, you can also get the brief of the document, right? You can generate some study guides. You can also get some FAQs from this document, right? So if you go here, then you can see some uh, quiz that is generated, okay, from the document, whatever we have given. Now, what's more interesting is the mind map, right? So you click on mind map. It takes about a minute or less and generates the mind map based on the entire content of the document, right? Let's explore how this shows us the details and how we can come back to the document based on the mind map. Okay, so this is ready. I'll click on this and you see a mind map that is got created. So AI voice agent for Indian languages and it says introduction, Bashmi AI, Hexa AI, Sarvam AI, uh, Shuka V1, and all of the other things. Now, if I click on Bashni AI, it has further details like description, purpose, uniqueness, advantage, and disadvantage. If I click on uniqueness, it further has pointers like what are the uniqueness, right? Like covers 22 official Indian languages, crowdsourcing, uh, Basha, Dan for accuracy, support speech to text and text to speech, and so on and so forth. And if you click on any of the pointers like this one, what it does is it goes to the particular section that is available from the document. So for example, you can see here, right? When we click on uniqueness, it comes here and gives us the detail of the uniqueness of Bashni AI. Based on the sources, Bashni AI's uniqueness is presented within the context of AI voice agent designed to address India's diverse linguistic landscape and make digital communication more accessible to non-English speakers, right? And it also gives us what are the pointers from where it has got it, right? You can see here, Sayadri College of Engineering and Management, 6th March 2025 to 9th March 2025, abstract. So all the details, point up or point up, right? So you have all these things, when you hover on top of it, it gives you the details, right? Um, so you can actually jump to that particular section of the document from the mind map. Okay. That's very interesting. Not just that, the audio is ready. So it has generated a 30 minute audio from this entire document, right? So if we actually open this document, 
So the document is of 15 pages, right? So there are all the details of multiple uh, AI voice agents for Indian languages. But if we play in this audio, which is of 30 minutes, but the sheer variety of languages you hear, if you just, you know, walk through the streets of India, it's um, it's this vibrant, dynamic soundscape. Absolutely. But this incredible linguistic richness, it also presents a real challenge when we move it to the digital realm, doesn't it? How do we make sure everyone can connect, can participate, when there are just so many different ways to speak? That's precisely the puzzle we're diving into today. Mm -hmm. uh, we're focusing on the rise of AI voice agents designed specifically for Indian languages. Right. Our goal is really to explore how these technologies are tackling this challenge head on. The ambition really is making digital experiences truly accessible for individuals who are primarily English speakers. Exactly. And we've got this uh, fascinating report here that looks at a whole range of these AI voice agent platforms. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be unpacking what makes. And what's interesting is the audio that has got generated looks as though two people are conversating based on the topic that we have presented. Isn't this amazing? So you can just upload some content, generate an audio out of it and keep listening to it, right? As though it is some audio from some podcast or something like that. Not just one document, right? You can also add multiple documents or multiple uh, slides, it could be one Google Doc, one Google Slide, one website, YouTube link, or multiple of multiple uh, types of documents or links or whatever it is, right? And you can chat with all of them combined together. Isn't this amazing? I probably will use this to upload all our YouTube videos and maybe chat with uh, the content to understand which platform to use for uh, what purpose and so on and so forth. Because we have explored so many tools so far that we may end up losing the context of which tool to use for what. Notebook LM doesn't just read your content. It comes packed with features that's incredibly useful. While tools like Humata is great to read your content and answer based on the content that the document has, Notebook LM goes a step further with advanced features. It's like a smart research assistant that not only helps you read faster, but also learn smarter. Whether you are a student, researcher, or somebody who just loves to explore, this tool will help you get there in a more organized way. So do give Notebook LM a try, and if you find it helpful, share it with somebody who might use a tool like this. Thank you for watching and as always, I will see you in the next one.